1980s, an alarming number of homosexual men were dying of a strange new disease which little was known about. At first, the American government was ignoring the emerging AIDS epidemic. Since American citizens were given little information on the new disease, ignorance, fear, and discrimination took over. The silence on the part of the Reagan administration resulted in an AIDS activist movement. Some non-governmental organizations were then formed. It was a time in history when anyone diagnosed with AIDS was considered under a death sentence. No one knew how long he or she had to live. The doctors at the time didn't know how to treat the new disease. People, not even physicians, understood how it was transmitted and often acted out of fear. However, the gay community knew they needed to take action. They staged many demonstrations and protests to help fight for their rights as citizens and help save lives. Their actions are like the civil rights movement decades earlier. They helped to educate our country and overcome fear and prejudice in regards to individuals who were diagnosed with AIDS. Many Chicago demonstrations, debates, and protests succeeded in helping a generation of homosexuals take control of their health care and force society and the government to treat them equal. One group that would help fight for their rights as not only workers but as citizens, human beings, was ACT UP. The ACT UP group was officially formed in 1987. The goal of ACT UP was to raise awareness towards the rapid growing deaths due to the AIDS epidemic. The group's main focus was to ensure that the government would fund for a better health care system for people with AIDS. ACT UP stands for AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power. The group's main focus was being split into two, one group wanting a change in politics while the other desired funding for a better health care system. The forming of two different groups caused many predicaments inside the group because there wasn't a leader to compromise with. The closest the ACT UP group had to a leader was Larry Kramer. He spent a great deal of time talking to people and trying to convince them of the injustice occurring in the healthcare system. The ACT UP group had many activists helping with the seven main groups. An action committee, finance committee, outreach committee, media reporters, housing committee, treatment groups, and graphics impact because it challenged the government in all forms. They were associated with nonviolent civil disobedience. The ACT UP group was in Chicago, New York City, Boston and San Francisco. The ACT UP group promoted change by using dramatic protests and demonstrations that led to a better understanding of AIDS, equality for homosexuals, and helped the healthcare system go about treating new diseases. Coming up, the Monday March starts at Prudential Insurance. AIDS epidemic was becoming a serious issue, AIDS was assumed to be linked to homosexuals. Nobody knew how it was transmitted. On July 30, 1982, Gay Life newspaper posted an article on the issue. It explains how at first AIDS was confined to male homosexuals. However, recently, male and female heterosexuals who were drug users developed the disease as well. This was frightening because people started to realize anyone could get this new disease now. The ACT UP group continued to push at obtaining more knowledge about AIDS. In the summer of 1992, Scott Mendelson wrote a political cartoon. The political cartoon depicted the government throwing money into funding. The ACT UP group convinced the government to put more money into the researching of AIDS. Therefore, more knowledge would be learned about this new disease. Before this, protests fighting for change in the healthcare system received $2.5 million to fund approved proposals by ACT UP. Chris Ham posted this Friday, September 10, 1982. To further support that these protests and demonstrations led to a better understanding of AIDS, Gay Life newspaper posted another article on April 5, 1984. The article states that the city announces AIDS awareness programs. The Chicago Health Department on Monday announced its plans to observe April as AIDS Awareness Month through various public outreach activities. This way, people will be more educated about the disease. It simply brought awareness of the subject to the community. 
Carla Marx snapped a photograph of a protest on June 28, 1992. It was titled, Act Up and Queer Nation Die Enduring Pride. It shows people lying on Chicago's biggest streets pretending to be dead because of the AIDS epidemic. They were holding signs that said, Parades are not enough. Fight for AIDS. Act up. This is important because people started to realize how serious the issue was. Act Up used methods of theater on the streets. They have scenes portraying gruesome fake blood being splattered on people. They were trying to send a message on a way that AIDS is transmitted. Spraying fake blood was also a form of scaring people and influencing them to funding the project. Police around the county were arresting these protesters who had on AIDS protective garments to protect themselves. This was due to insufficient knowledge of the disease. On December 1, 1988, at a City Hall press conference, Chicago Mayor Eugene Sawyer introduced a glossy new AIDS education advertising campaign. The Commissioner of Chicago's Health Department, Lonnie Edwards, introduced a series of fancy posters to be used as billboards and newspaper ads across Chicago. This would further better inform people of the disease AIDS. And demonstrations lead to a better understanding of AIDS, but also promoted equality for homosexuals and people living with the disease AIDS. On March 1, 1984, there was an article posted titled, AIDS Support Service Recruiting Volunteers. Paul Cotton and Albert Williams posted the article. It stated that the Patient Services new program helped people with AIDS and their family and friends as well as Gay Horizons. This kind of care showed the definite help the ACT UP group was having on the AIDS and homosexuals community. Many jobs did not allow anyone to work for them. Healthcare insurances also discriminated against people with the disease. The ACT UP group held protests by the headquarters of the American Medical Association, which shared the same building with many healthcare insurance companies. This would kill two birds with one stone because both of the causes were located in the same place. Downtown Chicago traffic came to a complete stop. By the Cook County Hospital, protesters dressed in hospital gowns and sat on 15 old mattresses around the intersection to block traffic. The mattresses represented 15 empty hospital beds of the Cook County AIDS Ward. The next day, the Cook County AIDS Unit was open to women and received its first women patients. All of these factors helped the healthcare system go about treating new diseases in the future. Before the act of group, people may not have known what to do with new diseases and often acted out of fear. But now, we have learned much more about dealing with new diseases. In July 1989, ACT UP, the Chicago Women's AIDS Association, and members of many different organizations gathered at the intersection of Clark, Diversity, and Broadway to state we were in a health emergency, and the CTA must provide information addressing the issues on the AIDS to prevent more cases. As a result, the CTA started to present safe sex info on buses and trains. This led to a future understanding of the idea of enough people promoting or fighting for a cause that they feel passionate about and will help promote change. Another good example of lasting legacy left behind the ACT UP group is stated in the Bay Area Reporter called 25 Years Later, Activists Recall ACT UP's Legacy. It said, as an advocacy movement, ACT UP is credited with lasting changes in the new way drugs are developed, clinical trials are conducted, and healthcare providers relate to patients. As an identity movement, it contributed to the changing attitudes and increased acceptance of LGBT people. This is important because it shows one of the lasting effects ACT UP left behind for Chicago. As the well. ACT UP advocacy group left a legacy that brought about changes in legislation, medical research, treatments, and policies for new diseases. ACT UP left a legacy of giving people a feeling that they have the power to create social change and government action. ACT UP's lasting influence can be seen in the Occupy Wall Street movement. ACT UP showed how a united group can successfully communicate to the masses to promote a cause. The